Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The Quarantine Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Residents of the San Francisco Bay Area in Northern California woke up Wednesday to dark orange skies as a blanket of smoke from the state's massive climate change fueled wildfires smothered the region. The thick smoke blotted out so much sunlight, temperatures dropped well below forecasters' predictions, with meteorologists comparing the effect to a nuclear winter. Many residents describe the scene as apocalyptic. The fires have also devastated Oregon, where dozens of blazes have destroyed hundreds of homes and even entire towns. Oregon Governor Kate Brown said it could be the greatest disaster in Oregon's history. I want to be upfront in saying that we expect to see a great deal of loss, both in structures and in human lives. This could be the greatest loss of human lives and property due to wildfire in our state's history. The fires left at least seven people dead across Washington, Oregon, and California. More fires are raging in Montana, Colorado, and Utah after headlines will go to California for the latest. Meanwhile, new satellite data show fires in Brazil's Amazon region leap to a 10-year high in August, with many of the blazes consuming virgin forest rather than already deforested areas. This comes as a new report finds populations of mammals, birds, amphibians, reptiles and fish have plummeted worldwide by a staggering 68 percent since 1970. In its biennial Living Planet report, the World Wildlife Fund warns, quote, biodiversity is fundamental to human life on Earth and the evidence is unequivocal. It's being destroyed by us at a rate unprecedented in history.